Hey guys, how's it going? So I thought I would make a Michael Jackson video where I could teach some people something that I didn't know people didn't know. <laughs> so apparently, and I guess it's because they're younger fans, people didn't know which version of Black or White Panther Dance is censored and which one is uncensored. And if you're new here, hi, I'm Matt's FTR. I, ba I am basically the godfather of the Michael Jackson fan community on YouTube. I am not popular anymore, but fuck me, I used to be. But anyway, and what's funny is that looking back at this concept, both versions, both versions can actually be considered censored based on the generation of people who are watching it. I didn't know until recently, but apparently people actually think that the uncensored version has the graffiti on the car that Michael destroys, and the censored version took away the graffiti. So take a look at this comparison video. Apparently, a lot of fans believe this. So uncensored, you got the, you know, the Nazi symbol on the car, but the censored version has it taken away, right? And he's destroying racism, right? Oh, you know, take away, take away that terrible sign. Oh, he's destroying that sign. Oh, he's also destroying the fucking hood of the car. Oh, boom, there's fucking racial slurs there too. And you even got dumb young fans being like, oh, people can't handle him, him fighting racism. They're fucking racist. That's why they removed it. No, the truth is actually the complete opposite. Don't get me wrong, I actually don't blame fans for not knowing this. Since I've been out of the Michael Jackson fan community for like fucking six years, when I saw this comparison video, I actually thought to myself, wait a minute, am I remembering something wrong? Is the, the racial slurs the original? I almost questioned my thoughts for a minute. And then I wanted to clarify that I'm not just fucking going insane, so I, so I looked it up and I couldn't find any results except for one that verified that I am in fact right. And to make matters even worse, even the, the official version uploaded to the Michael Jackson YouTube channel uploaded the version without the racial slurs. And normally, the official page always uploads the censored version, not the uncensored version. Even the version of They Don't Care About Us the, the official page only uploaded the censored version, the version where words like uh, kike and Jew were taken out. So why would they upload the uncensored version of the Panther Dance? Well, the explanation is quite easy, because it depends on who's watching it, like what generation. Let's make something very clear for people who simply don't know. The original version of the Panther Dance is where there's no racial slurs. The censored version has the racial slurs. Because back in 1991, this video was extremely controversial. But it wasn't controversial because it was offensive. It was controversial because people didn't understand it. Back then, people were questioning why he's dancing in the street with no music, why does he keep touching himself, and why does he keep screaming? Those were the questions people were asking back in 1991. So, since people didn't understand what the video was about, they added racial slurs to the car to basically say, okay, if you don't understand what Michael's doing, we'll add racial slurs to the car and make a fake reason, which is he's destroying racism. Do you understand it now? Now, what does the video actually mean? Well, you see, the panther, the panther, the actual animal of the panther, is the metaphor for a person's inner sexual power. So when he's running around touching himself and screaming, he, the whole thing is a metaphor for sexual power inside human beings. People didn't know this, or at the very least understand it, so they put in racial slurs to give it a completely different reason that people would understand. That's why the racial slurs are in the censored version, not the uncensored version. But what's funny is that you can literally say that both of them are censored, based in a generation of people who are watching it. Back in the 90s, people were confused about the sexual aspect of his dance, so they added racial slurs. Today, the racial slurs, even though Michael is destroying the racial slurs, people today are so astronomically fucking stupid, just seeing the racial slurs, completely disregarding the fact that Michael's destroying them, just 
seeing them is enough for people today to call just seeing them offensive. That's why people now think that the censored version is taking them out. Because people now are too dumb to understand that he's destroying the racial slurs and people's brains automatically think racism just because you can see them. Because that's how fucking stupid people are now. But that's what I'm trying to say, is that both versions can be considered censored based on the generation of people who are watching it. <laughs> if you're older, you're just confused about the sexual aspect and not understanding why he's screaming. And if you're younger, you just see a Nazi symbol or the N-word and go, RACISM! You know what I mean? So that's why, technically, both versions can be considered censored based on when you watch this and how old you are and what generation you are. But if you want the actual truth, the real truth is that the censored version added the racial slurs and the uncensored original version never had racial slurs to begin with. And there's a couple things that you can see to make this really obvious. The most obvious part is the racial slurs only appear on the car and a window that he throws a steering wheel at. The racial slurs don't appear at any other point for the whole video, both before the car and after the car. So even a young person who actually thinks that this video is about racism, which it isn't, surely you would at least ask yourself, if this is about racism, then how come there's no racism in the video except for the car? He's still screaming before the car and after the car. You know what I mean? So, like, questions like that should come into your mind, but maybe they don't. <laughs> the point is, the video is not about racism. The panther is the metaphor for a person's inner sexual desires. That's why he's touching himself and screaming. And, uh, yeah, I hope if you're a young fan who's uh, seen videos like this one, it's now more clear to you why the video is what it is and why these... Uh, censored and uncensored videos are actually completely wrong. <laughs> See you later.